Greetings and welcome to another Diablo 2 Resurrected video. Today I want to show you the fire traps in an endgame setup. So fully kitted out. I mean almost fully kitted out actually if I think about it. But let's get right into the skill set. We have nothing into martial arts and in shed disciplines just one into burst of speed and one into clock of shadows. And then for the traps, 20 into fire blast, 20 into wake of fire, 20 into inferno, 20 into death sentry and then the rest of our points into lightning sentry in case death sentry shoots out some lightnings then it's pretty nice to get some more damage right here and that's already about it that's pretty simple uh, jumping into the items uh, next we have a flickering flame helmet which actually applies to the traps uh, as of like some of the recent more recent patches the minus fire res is very very good uh, it's not even maxed out here. I think it can go up to 15. Then I have a Maris Kaleidoscope. You can also go with some 220 All Res Amulet if you have it. Uh, that's even more expensive then. Uh, but the more FCR you have, the more helpful because we have Enigma. We don't have the best FCR breakpoint, but it is pretty decent. So we are reaching, uh, and I'm jumping ahead here, the 12 FCR breakpoint for teleport. We have, I think, 45 or 50 uh, faster cast rate and the next breakpoint is 65. So you could also go away with a 50% FTR uh, <clears throat> amulet and then go, go from there and get the 11 uh, cast breakpoint, 11 frames. Uh, we are running a Phoenix Shield. This is not a Spirit Shield. That's why our FCR is pretty low, uh, but it gives us minus 28% to enemy fire rest, which is huge, uh, along with some fire absorb and uh, yeah, a little bit of defense, um, doesn't really matter that much. Um, actually, only the <laughs> minus five res is, is nice, but the um, Redemption Aura uh, also is helpful because we don't have an insight on the mercenary, so we are not really regenerating mana other than with the Redemption Aura. Then I have like simple War Travelers. Um, you can use other boots like with resistances or whatever you want. If you have tri res boots with Magic Find, the better. But if you want to bump up your Magic Find a little bit, War Travelers are the way to go. Uh, a Raven Frost for the cannot be frozen. The rest of the sets don't really interest us. Uh, maybe the plus mana and Cold Absorb is nice, but really a source of cannot be frozen right here. A Ragnar Smash for plus two skills, fast cast rate. A 10 FCR ring can be any FCR ring, um, whatever you have that have some decent and nice stats coming with it. I have Krangle's Claws right here. It's for the FCR. It would actually be better. Um, to have the Mage Fist because they give plus one to fire skills. I just don't have it right now, but essentially it doesn't make a huge difference, but to min-max, um, of course, get the Mage Fist. They give you plus one to fire skills to all your fire traps, so that's better. Uh, then trap skillers, um, MF charms, resistance charms, whatever you have um, will be good. The torch, of course, and the any to run things up along with the Flame Rift to break fire immunities. Going over the stats really quick, enough strength to equip gear. The rest comes from Enigma, of course, and then just pump into Vitality because we don't need Dex, we don't need energy. Now you can see the rest, but it's not, not uh, the best. Um, again, we don't have rest on the, on the War Travelers, on the, on the Boots. Uh, we could have better rest on the Ring. We could have like more resistance charms, but you do what you have. Um, and yeah, that is the overall advanced stats, as you can see, 50% FCR right here. 164 magic finds, not the greatest, but um, if you can get to 200, we don't have a Jeets, for example, if you add a Jeets, we have 200, 200 to 250 is like kind of a sweet spot. So maybe aim for that. And then the mercenary has infinity to further enhance our damage, fortitude and vampire gaze to get him to uh, be alive, to ke keep him alive. And, um, Crystal Max Light results here, okay. And uh, yeah, that is about it for the gear and the stats. And let's get to some gameplay. Oh yeah, and the second weapon slot, I have Call to Arms and Spirit, of course. So we are on players eight. Can put it again here. And let's use CTA. And you want to use your burst of speed on the second weapon slot because as you can see, we have uh, 14 skill here because the second weapon slot gives more uh, plus two skills. I believe I forgot to show the weapon. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I am running a gem crystal sword with six uh, fire facets. 
gives us a huge bonus to fire skill damage and uh, minus enemy fire res. So all that combined, we can look it up here, gives us minus uh, 43 to, wait, that doesn't seem right. This is the 30. Okay, this for some reason doesn't count to the character sheet. I don't know why. Spooky. I hope it still counts because it's 28 minus fire enemy fire rest. It's just huge. Buggy buggy advanced stats. Okay, anyways, uh, if this all counts, we have a um, whooping 63, uh, 71 to enemy fire rest, which is huge, along with the infinity, which gives another minus fire rest. <clears throat> We're looking at a lot of uh, bonus damage. You could also run a Hodo if you want, uh, if you want the plus skills more. Uh, but this is the more min max deal. As you can see, on players 8, I mean, I also have one of the most uh, HP uh, enemies in the game. So I think this is pretty decent. And I also combine it with uh, Death Sentry, although uh, I gotta say with the Redemption Aura you of course have less corpses lying around. Also on P8 um, the corpse explosion is only as strong as a P1 monster, so it doesn't scale with the health of the monster. It only takes the P1 health of the monster. I could also try some uh, Inferno. I don't know why I'm running around. I actually have Enigma, but... I think Inferno is not as good. It's good for single targeting. And maybe you can mix and match it. One, two, three. Two, four, five. Oh, wait. Wrong trap. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty chill. I don't really have to worry about a lot. See if we can get a big crowd. There's nothing here. Where are the cows? This is okay, I guess. You could also use Clock of Shadows just to be more safe. Uh, what am I doing here? Where's my mercenary? Okay, my mercenary died. But without infinity, I would say, especially in the cow level where they have a lot of HP, you can see. I don't know, this is not super strong. I mean, if you think about the amount of gear that we have, I think this could be better. And now I'm thinking maybe four facets in a monarch would be better than Phoenix Shield in a way. It's okay. Let's get our boy back. And let's head over to a quick benchmark in Act 5. For Eldritch, just to see how fast does it go. Pretty fast. And then we can also take a look at the Chaos Sanctuary, of course. But in general, I'd prefer the uh, lightning. In terms of a raw damage output, it's it's way superior. Lightning Sentry Assassin. And again, our mercenary died a gruesome death. So I don't even know how strong we are without him in a world where there's Venom Lords that are inherently fire immune. So I'd say you can manage P8. But... Is it a great experience? I'm not sure. You judge for yourself. I feel like... 
I feel like this is not the greatest I've ever seen for a P8 build. Put a boy back because we need the damage. We need the conviction aura. Try to keep him alive somehow. Don't die. Oh my god. He's dead again. And my damage is not great. I gotta say, this takes way too long. Why is he not dying? He's like in that corner. Okay. I want to do this because I want to show the Diablo kill. Oops. This is going to be fun. Or not. Also for our low res, it's... This is not looking great, is it? But we will see it through the end. If you have some uh, thoughts on improving the build, please let me know in the comments. Might be something I'm missing. Okay. So with Infinity is actually good. I don't know why our mercenary is so squishy. Maybe it's just because it's P8. It's getting a lot of damage. Yep. Don't die on me. A scene. Okay. We managed to do that. Just want to see. Ah, two rests. Wait. I want to use my Inferno traps. That's okay. It takes some time. And there we go. There's Diablo on P8. So yeah, that's what I want to show you, the P8 build variation of the uh, Fire Trap Assassin. I think a little bit weaker than its counterpart, the Lightning Trap Assassin, uh, which has just some uh, more damage potential in the max damage range. But uh, yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please like and consider subscribing for more videos like that in the future. Have a good day, good luck, have fun, and goodbye.